Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about what is TCA and how do we create a customer from UI. Let us understand what is TCA. TCA stands for Trading Community Architecture. It is a data model on which the customer entities were defined. Okay, so technically when Oracle designed the customer set of tables and the relationship between the customer entities and sub entities, they considered this particular logical data model on which the customers were defined. This TCA data model was also considered in the e-business suit, the same thing considered for the Fusion ERP. And not only that, TCA is not only for the supply customers, it is also used for the suppliers also. So in our session, we'll concentrate only on the customer part of TCA. So what are the entities or sub entities which are considered as part of TCA? So when I say entity or sub entity is nothing but a, a table, you can consider it as a table. So under the TCA, these are the set of things which will be generally considered. Like um, it starts with parties, location, party sites, party side users, accounts, account sites, account sites users, and um, customer banks, customer profiles, and the customer contact points, okay? So these are the high level components of the TCA, okay? So now what we'll do is we'll try to create a customer with all these particular entities, okay? And also we'll discuss about how do we, I mean, what, what are the tables involved for all these particular parent entities as well as child entities, okay? So why I'm talking about parent and child? Because when you create a customer, there are a few things which are very much mandatory, which is required for a customer to have them. There are other sub entities which may not be required for each and every functionality. Okay, that may be required when you have the deeper functionality of the customer used in some other modules. Okay, so now let us see that. So to start with, to create a customer, you have to navigate like this, like uh, you have to click on receivables, then click on billing and then click on create customers. Okay, so now let us go to the Fusion ERP instance. So now once you log into the instance, check out that, click on the receivables link and here in the receivables, click on the billing app Okay, so once you click on billing app, it will go to the billing screen where it provides a set of task list. In that, we have to select create customer. Okay, so this is a billing screen. And here in the task list, click on create customer. Yeah, so in the create customer screen, here if you observe high level, so here in the top level, it tells you the organization information. Nothing but we also call it as party information. Next one is account information, okay? And then the other information is account address set and then the site details. So when you create a customer, the basic set of information which you require is the party information or you can call it as organization information, then the account information, then the site information. Site address usage is not mandatory, but that is also a kind of a generally preferred one to have the information, okay? So now other important thing is, the first basic information is customer type. You can have a customer type as an organization or a person. So nothing but like you have a customer, like when you are selling some goods to a particular customer, right? The customer, the end customer can be a company which is procuring goods from you or the company can be, a, or, or you know, like the one who is procuring goods from you could be a single person, right? So in that scenario, based on that, you can mention either customer or a person, okay? Now I'll just prefer customer type as organization. As of now, I'll just mention or our training is my customer name. And registry ID is nothing but a party number. Generally, it is auto-generated. But the column name here in the UI it is shown it as registry ID, but it is nothing but a party number. Next one is account number. A party or an organization can have multiple accounts. Okay, and account number is also very much important. Generally, you know, like uh, to trace out the customers, right? We generally consider the account number as a very important unique attribute. Next one is account establishment date. Nothing but on the date which you are creating your particular account. Next. Account address set, which is very important field. When you're creating a customer, you want to bifurcate the information according to the legal entities or a business unit, then you can consider the appropriate address set. So based on the address set, which you design, which you set, consider based on that, you know, like your information will be shared with other BU or not. So now in this case, I am selecting the US one BU set, which is a default one, which is already available for this one. Next one is a site number. It is auto-generated here. And I just mentioned site name, something like this. And I'll just say country as India and address line one. So I'll just say Hyderabad and some pin code. Okay. And okay. So this is a site information. And this site usage you can mention whether it is for the bill to ship to like those set of things you can mention here. Just click on add row here. And here you can mention a bill to like this. And you can make it as a primary also if required. 
can add up one more record and there are few things few set of things which are auto generated generally like you may also have a profile value using which you can control what is the behavior you're expecting whether you want to them have an auto generated or whether those set of fields should be editable all these things can be considered but not all the choices will be available so it depends upon the entity which you are looking for so right now what all we have done we are creating a customer nothing but a party and then we are creating an account and then we are also creating a site and also we are creating a site usage nothing but four entities we have considered out of the out of these four entities the parent information is a party so now here you can mention the organization name or a registry id or you can mention account number so i prefer this one so as i don't remember the party number which was generated so i just consider searching based on this one okay so this is the name and here by default whenever you create any site right that particular site address will be considered as a primary address for your party okay now these are the accounts this is the account and this is a account site and i'll click on account number so as of now we have just considered about the primary key entities of a customer okay now we'll consider the sub entities which are preferred based on the usage of your customer like um, if you consider about the dunning letters or maybe you know like uh, the bank like a uh, payment information then where you require the information about your customer profile you, you may require a contact point information you may require a banking information you may also require a customer receipt method information also right so now those set of things are considered now just click on the account number under the account number we'll try to create the the remaining sub entities one by one okay so the first thing which are which will start with the payment method under the payment method you have first thing called receipt method so i'll just click on this plus symbol and you can mention the receipt method method and i'll just prefer check and you can mention the start date right so this is how we can create a receipt method and similarly here in this one click on bank account so i'll prefer creating a bank account now so now in the bank account you can use you can use the existing bank account or you can create a new bank account overall right so i prefer this one the first option create a bank account and assign to this payer right so i'll just say okay okay so this is a bank account which i want to add up for this particular customer and can you see the account owner by default generated because you have a customer name generally that is a legal name of your customer right so even when you create a bank generally like uh, your legal name will be considered as a legal name for your bank also right that's why it is considered by default here and just nothing to enter much and the remaining information is not mandatory so we are just ignoring them click on save and close so this is a bank account this is a process of creating a bank account for your customer and you can also create multiple account owners for your particular bank account so in generally right when you have a, a bank or like um, you have a bank account right and you have a customers or i mean to say like you have an organization and that particular account can be shared with multiple account owners like you will also have a shared account right shared bank account so in those kind of scenarios what we generally do is just click on this bank account under this bank account you can just mention the list of account owners you can just click on plus symbol and you can mention the party name and you can mention the assignment date that's it that's how this particular bank account will be shared across the all these account owners now coming to the next one yeah so communication under the communication what we prefer to do is like here we create a contact points which is which is required when you have a dunning later dunning concept so i'll click on edit contacts you have to create account contact under that you have to create a contact point and then you have to create role responsibility so overall total three things under the communication account contacts contact points as well as role responsibilities right so i'll just create a new one so i'll just say create a contact So I'll just say contact first name, right? So I'll just ignore the other fields. Click on this, okay? Now account contact got created, and then mention the contact point. Nothing but what is the type of this particular contact? Whether it's an email or a phone or all these things you can mention, okay? So I'm just going with the default one, and 
yeah mention some number Next one you have to mention is a role responsibility, account contact role responsibility. Okay, so you can mention bill to, you can mention dunning. Based on the purpose, you have to mention the appropriate dunning. Yeah. Okay, save. Or you can mention save and close. Yeah, let's wait. The other one which we'll consider now is the profile. Okay. So this profile, it got auto-generated here. Okay. Now you can create the new record or you can correct the existing record also. Let us, I'll prefer to create a new record, insert a new record. So start it, maybe let us, I'll mention tomorrow. Right, you can mention some information or you can just go with the existing default stuff and click on save and close. Okay, so this is how we can create a customer profile. Now here, whatever the entities which were created at the account level, nothing but starting with the payment details, communication and profile, all these things you can also create at the site level. Okay, so account level information will not be available to the site level, vice versa also. So like uh, if you create an account level, it will be available account level itself. If the site level, it will be site level itself. But for the account contacts, the account contacts, the contact points which are recreated at the site level, that will be visible at the account level also. So you have to be very careful when you create the sub entities and you have to understand which particular thing you want to consider at which level, okay? So now I'll just give a quick overview of the table involved also so that when you design any VIP report, you can just refer to them. So starting with the parties, the party details will be available in the headset parties table. Party ID is a primary column and party name. And then you have party number, which is nothing but registry ID. Next one is a headset locations, which will have location information. Then the uh, accounts, headset cust accounts, which will be linked to the parties table with the party ID. Party sites. So now here, if you observe the party tables, uh, like uh, specifically party sites and party site users, right? So you have the for the respective party sites you'll have account sites for the party site users you'll have the account site users also okay so these are totally interlinked because these party tables are also used in many many particular entities not just for the customers it will be used for the sub it will be used for suppliers it will be used for legal entities it is also used for banks right so we, you have to be very careful so when you're using headset parties table just consider this party usage assignment table also and link with the headset parties and mention the party usage code is called customer so that you'll get only party information by using this particular function, I mean, filtering criteria. Now, these are all like um, easily understandable one, like uh, whatever the primary entities which we created the initially. So these are all the tables, okay? This heads at R references or origin system references. Generally, this is referred or maybe internally it is, internally it is used. When you are loading the customer via FBDA, right? This is one of the very important table using which generally we validate the reconciliation process, okay? Because based on the, based on the elements which are populated in this particular table, the other entities are linked okay and this list is about the primary entities which we considered now the next entity sub entities which we uh, created at the account level like um, bank account reset method and all those things these are the information so starting with the bank details like uh, these are the bank information like um, payment instrument details as well as account owner information and there is a receipt method details which are the two tables involved and account roles account contact role responsibility and the contact points so this is account contacts and this is the contact points. Other one is a role responsibility and another one is a customer profile. Okay, so of course, like for all these tables, majority of the linkage will be your particular party ID, your cust account ID, as well as site ID. Okay, so as these elements are available, as these particular tables or the sub entities can be created at the account level as well as site level. So you have to join appropriately. Okay, so these are all about the high level overview of the customers in Oracle Fusion ERP. Thank you.